Okay, it's time. We're going, Frank. Where are we going, bud? Oh my gosh, I shut the door and asked him a question. Where are we going, Frank? Where are we going? We're going to Superstar City. <laughs> Let's friggin' go. Maggie oh, is ready. Right. 600 miles, I don't know. 600. We got this, we got this. Dude. Oh, oh, look at this sucker. You got her cleaned up, bro. That was a long trip from Seattle here. I so. haven't seen you in race setup yet. This is it. Race this mode, dude. Get up. Good to see you. It was snow covered about seven hours ago. Snow wow. Covered. It was uh, snow cleaned all off. Made it, look nice. it was bad. Man, maybe we should wash the Maggie while we're here, too. Uh, put all the wash stuff away, fresh out of soap. Sorry. Probably look worse, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got some cool hats. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> oh, we're in the belly, dude. No one's behind that door? No. <laughs> Those are the bikes, dude. You have the reigning champ, Chase Sexton's 450 race bike. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then up front, you have Aaron Plessinger. They've both won races this year and they've both carried the red plate. So right. this is the real deal. This is awesome. <laughs> and then what's in the back? Our 250 riders. So you've got oh, okay. Julian Beaumere and Tom Biel. Ah, and yeah. Tom Biel, our 250 too. rider, yeah. also carried a red plate yeah. this year. He's, he's been on, yes, sir, yes. What are these over the grips? I've never seen them. Just covers, keep grimy fingers off of them. No kidding. Yeah, dude. Dude. stay clean. Dude. Well, they did their full uh, build in Seattle. And so I drove here with everything already cleaned. All I had to do when I got here was wash everything. Wash the truck. Wow. And you're probably going to have to put a new tire on there. And Dunlop will come by tomorrow and put fresh tires on. That's worth about 13 Maggies. Maybe probably 14, more. It, dude, I'm Wait sure man. they got infinite money in these suckers. Grand. No, that ain't even. Yeah, no, way more than that. <laughs> you have a value on these things? You know, people ask me all the time. I have no clue. It's, it's one of those things where you, it's priceless just because of the amount of like R&D that goes into them. Yeah. It's a. Uh, wow. Wow. A lot of the stuff you can you can buy off the shelf. But, uh, yeah, but making it work together is the thing. Yeah. Look at this. Holy crap. You know what I forgot for this weekend? Stickers to put on the back of the fender so we can never be invited back again. <laughs> <laughs> cowboy hat. Oh, you don't need the cowboy hat. You're good, dude. AP's okay, got all the cowboy hats we need. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. The earth oh. says hello. <laughs> <laughs> so does the trailer. Frank, what do you say this morning? I say that Maggie's still here. She was in good company. <laughs> yeah, <all day>. boy. <laughs> what are we doing today, Corey? Uh, we're cruising. We're taking a truck to the stadium. We're going to park it. And it's press day for the Red Bull KTM today. Oh, whoa. This is the stuff you just don't see, Frank. All the semi trucks. All the work that gets put into every week to get these bikes to the race. And we're here to join you guys. <laughs> I love cool? it. Yeah. I think this is next level, dude. This is awesome. Now it is time to unload the beast. We leave for five minutes. Look I know. Wow. Got my bike, Frank's bike over there. <laughs> Our backup bikes. Gonna be a good weekend. You gotta know when to crack them. 
Crap. Mine's already cracked. Crack. Oh yeah, there we go. Cheers, bro. First one of many this weekend. <laughs> Probably many. <laughs> Sliver Something roll. Hits a little harder when you're drinking a Red Bull at the KTM factory Red Bull trailer. <laughs> it does hit harder. Let me see if it tastes any better. Wow. Oh, it tastes good. Look at that cool ass. Oh, dude. Well, if we need a little workout, Frank, we got... Uh, yeah, we'll get right on that. Then if First, we... let's go get some of the, what's in here. <laughs> Check it out. This doesn't even make sense how big this is. This is crazy. It's like a diner. Bro. It is. We <laughs> got like booth dinette sit seating right here. You got a little coffee bar right here and oh, a commercial dude, kitchen Brazil, in the back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Plus the Red Bull, that makes sense. Plus the Red Bull. Wow. And commercial kitchen back here. Holy crap. Holy... All sorts of goodies, dude. Okay, so we got... Pat, Pat drives this truck. Hey, Pat. So he handles uh, cooking and uh, cleaning and stuff back here. Yep. And uh, he does all the grocery shopping. And then Steph uh, helps out with a lot of the cooking on race days. So it's Damn. like a home away from home for everybody. Insane. You know, I'm out here and uh, watch TV, got laptops on the screen. and uh, he got the hibachi figured out? Like, <laughs> he does. He'll <laughs> sometimes click him. Can you do the onion there. thing with the, with the <laughs> volcano? Yeah, do the volcano, Pat. <laughs> Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, this is like, guys, so uh, people are just starting to show up here. We just <laughs> Chase Sexton just walked by. He's last year's champ. He's riding the number one bike, as you can see right there. I was just thinking to myself, like, how stressful it must be to be prepping a bike. Because, like, in a race car, something goes wrong, you're still in the car. <laughs> if you're on a bike and something goes wrong, you're flying off the bike. You know what I mean? So these mechanics have to be just insanely precise and accurate with everything we're doing. Everything's light. Springs, all titanium. Everything is custom designed. Everything's lightweight. Bolts, titanium. Like, I guess that's probably true for every factory team, but right. it's just something well, compared that, to my 450. Yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Didn't know that even existed. I picked right. up a giant bolt this big, and it felt like it was made of like balsa wood. Just crazy. So uh, yeah, in about an hour and a half, it's going to be practice. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see that or not. I'm really excited to watch these suckers fly, dude. Well, Frank, we're going in for some practice. We yeah, got the yeah. uh, elusive Friday only wristbands here. I got my Bluetooth gear on too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Bluetooth gear? You going out there? No way. You wish. I'd be a one of the bumps. Not that it would be tough like I would, but then like. Oh, first time seeing the track out here. <laughs> Where are you going, Corey? I don't know. What yeah. are you doing? I might cruise. I'm You're filming? Film our riders. Okay. Boys, first little practice here. I think I could keep up with them at this pace, Frank. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Oh yeah, baby. If I hit that jump, that would be the biggest motocross jump I've ever hit in my life. <laughs> One day I'm gonna do something that big. I'm calling it. Oh boy, time for the 450s. Oh yeah. So this like wasn't really even a practice. This was more like Just industry. Straight up press day for, uh, I guess, to get photos and yeah. media, media for everybody. And look, look at, at oh, yeah, like the ruts. The ruts are already insane off yeah. the face of the start finish. And then uh, look at this too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we get back behind that. Like you really see that them are. They're deep. Really deep. I bet you they're a good eight to 10 inches deep. Yeah. And that's just face of that jump. And that's just riding easy too. With not even many bikes. Well, we took the world's longest route that was so to get around. Confused. Anyway. Is that you for you to do that? They're doing sound checks on these bikes. This yeah. is pretty interesting. Yeah. So they got mics right here. Oh yeah. They're, they're, they're and then uh, they just rev the heck out of them. Cool, I wonder what they're hitting. I don't know. 90 some probably it's pretty interesting probably something like that 91 92 yep what are you doing dude i don't know master uh lift gate operator master here. lifter I'm okay all that work. go ahead sir oh i said oh god i gotta go inside <laughs> it's tacky at that point i'm serious oh boy how was it boys are you professional today? driving with you again? 
professional driver. I got the rental car keys. Oh, shoot. Oh. Well, it is windy. We are back at the hotel. You can hear jets taking off. Tomorrow is what, Corey? Tomorrow's race day. Race day, buddy. Let's go. We're uh, shooting for AP or Chase. One and two. Two and one. Doesn't matter. On the podium, top of the box. Who's going to win, dude? I'll say AP. Yes. Got it. We met him too. He was awesome. So maybe we'll talk to him tomorrow on camera. Maybe. Maybe, Corey. Maybe. Maybe. maybe we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? It's race day. Let's you know, do it. You never know. Yep. All right. See you guys in the morning. It's freaking hot out here. Yeah, dude. St. Louis, baby. What's up? What's up, Cross? Today, baby. <laughs> it's race day, dude. Are you jacked? Yes. <sighs> yeah. AP, Sexton, either one of them. Top of the box. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. This is, is going to be. Maggie still here? Maggie's still here, great question. Ooh. I see the front end of the Maggie, we're good. We're good. Real question is, are you ready for the day? Are you ready? You don't even know. I don't even know what's up. It's been a long time since I've been to a race. It's been 10 years for me. It's been 10 years for you. But we're a little bit different than most people today. Yep, this is awesome. Let's do it. Oh, it's heating up. There's way more people here today, Frank. <laughs> it's like uh, it's actually open today, kind of weird, huh? I want to explain something to you that you already knew, but I didn't know. So, you see all these other like smaller camps over here especially. Privateers? Privateer riders. Yeah. Okay, so you think like standard racing, right? Yeah. You got 20 teams, like say F1. Okay. 20 teams, two. Yeah, you're thinking they're all the same yeah. exact setup. No. It's not the case. There's people that have their pro license and can just come in and race if they want to. This guy worked at, you know, Martin Chevrolet or whatever on Monday through Friday, you know? Yeah. Just took Friday off to come here and race. And as long as he can qualify, he's in the show. Let's go, buddy. Cool. <laughs> he must know the, the lore of Frankie Jade. <laughs> what up? How you doing this morning? How you doing? Good. How things go? Practice. What are you sleeping in? You literally told me to sleep in. There's nothing going on you in the morning. Did. Literally, I did. Well, yeah. how'd it go? How'd it go? How'd it go? Oh, uh, let's honestly, I don't know because I just filmed uh, Aaron. But I think. Well, how'd you do? Well, on Aaron. I, you want to bet? I have no clue. I literally look through the lens, film it, walk it back. Don't, don't even look at it. What? Well, we can look at him. <laughs> Corey, what are we doing, buddy? Uh, Frank's about to do his first track walk. He's gonna go check it out. You know, that 350's got a lot of power. He's gotta get these rhythm sections timed right. So. We didn't really actually really talk about this at all. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's so, yeah, I guess now the cat's out of the bag. So, you know, KTM has a 350. Yeah. And they've been trying to line up this new series to get uh, influencers out on the track. So they just decided to throw us all on 350s. This happened like a couple months ago. Yeah. So that's actually how Frank got hurt. That is the whole I reason why they're here, actually. Yeah. Been in the background, but I guess you're just gonna find out later. Yeah. We gotta we'll, go do track walks. So. We'll talk about it right now a little bit. Yeah. But in the future, it's like a influencer kind of like veteran deal, Corey, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, this would be cool. This is uh, they're trying to just Definitely expand the sport, class. get it more people to see it. Yeah. So uh, we're we're gonna race today. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This feels like a video game. Not even sure what that means. Go to die? I don't know. I have no idea. How'd you feel about the first qualifying sesh, dude? It's pretty uh, awesome, right? I feel pretty good about that. I mean, no chase has got it. He's in second, so always a good thing. Yeah, Plessinger, mid-pack, came yep. out seventh. 
known to not be a great qualifier, apparently. Just, just facts. When it comes race time, he's ripping. Right to them. All right. That cowboy in him, let loose. <laughs> yes, sir. We're about to meet AP, dude, the man, the myth, the legend. Where are you, man? I'm not, well, yeah, but I'm not trying to, like, you know, be weird guy with the camera behind the scenes, you know? So if there's all these interactions with people, you're not seeing them, so I'm just trying to be genuine. Everybody's like, why are these guys? Yeah, I'm not. 450 qualifier two, Frank. We also just got uh, access to a track walk. Oh, yes. <laughs> so on the second qualifier, it looks like they actually do a gate drop. Scooters, Frank, it's official. Oh, look at this. We're really behind the scenes now. Ooh, there's your camera. Peacock, dude. <laughs> I bet you they're faster than me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Unreal, dude. The next generation of Supercross racers. That's it, dude. Right here. Electric. Right now. Yes, the Mario Electric. Yep. Yeah. There you go. He wanted that high five, dude. This is it. This is it, dude. This is badass. Finally get to see what this is all about. You've been on some tracks before. You get to see these jumps up close. Look at the friggin'. It's so sticky. Sticky, Frank. That's steep. It's steep, steep and you sticky. Up short on this? If you came up short, yeah. I've never felt stickier dirt in my life. Right. All the tracks. Yeah. So no so weird. This isn't even that big of an arena, but from here it feels massive. It's a pretty big arena. Come on. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah. Cool. Everybody at home, you don't understand how big these things are. These are big whoops. Yeah, that's basically 24 inches, I would say. Two foot. And they are nasty. When I was up in the stand when we first seen this crack, I'm looking at this right here. Look over there. Yeah. This bump with this, I knew there was going to be a rut all the way through there. Yeah. Can you imagine coming through a hole shot and haven't hit that? I mean, you'd be hitting this at like freaking 60 oh. mile an hour, dude. So, years ago but because the gates would always get so bad behind the gate they put these down so you launch off this yeah you definitely you literally launch off this everyone has the exact same path leaving on the other side you cannot touch the gate the dirt oh, on the gate oh interesting you can't touch anything. so you always want to look out for your line going straight yeah like some of them come out and go crooked some of them go deeper than others it's all inconsistency so you'll watch when guys pick their gates and they're looking for Interesting. So they're all they're all the same here though. It makes a lot of sense that they're all on the same pad to take off. That's smart. Oh yeah. Race time. We got an AW. Root beer dude, seven up. Zero Frank's going zero. Another thing. Might be seeing I don't have a hat on. Brian gave us hat away I to a young hat child. Away to a fan that walked by, seen Ryan Bunchy and said, Ryan goes, Well, do you got anything for me to sign? He goes, uh no. He goes, Well, I don't know what to tell you. Took my hat off my head and gave it to the kids. Race day, baby. Oh, shoot, Frank. Gotta have it on. This right? time, buddy, let's go. Oh, boy. Triple crown, baby.
At least with the hard pack, this is the most exciting racing I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah. You can't get bored watching this kind of stuff. Nope, this is crazy, dude. Oh boy. You got the flames going. That's how you know it's the final race. All the excitement's over. So interesting, man. Oh, it cleared out so quickly? I know, it clears out super quickly, and it's just a bunch of people pushing their bikes back, and tired riders, and yep. kind of smells happy. like feet down here. Some people happy, some people not too happy. I'm Looked happy. Like, so they did say with the, with the Bam Bam uh, jet incident, Yeah. you are gonna see this? They did say that it looked like he turned down, and Bam Bam ran right up to him afterwards, and like, they look pretty cool. I know he's still probably upset, but like, looked like he handled it right, you know? Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. That was a hard hit. Yes. But man, seeing this from the back, so cool. Just so badass. They're still clean. Yeah, oh, how are they so clean? Oh, these are the spare mind. bikes. <laughs> <laughs> spare bikes, I'm like, how did they wash them on the way back? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if Corey could do one thing, it'd be washing the bikes on the way <laughs> back to the truck. <laughs> Oh, I still worry about it. It's all about feeling excitement. <laughs> Listen guys, Supercross was next level. I can't begin to explain how exciting it is 
being out in that stadium. You see this all the time. You're here all the time. You don't even care about it. Maybe you care. Oh, I mean, he cares. That's yeah, what he yeah, cares. Yeah. I, I still get goosebumps every single week. Really? Yeah, during the national anthem, I get the goosebumps. I'm happy to be there. That's why I go out there and watch the opening ceremonies. Because I get jazzed. Up. The racing stuff, yeah. It varies week to week. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's uh, super exciting and it's so scary when they crash because their bodies are just out there waiting to be ran over. I know that sounds savage, but it's basically what's going on. There's no rope here. <laughs> yeah, no. We got nothing. No That's why with age comes cage. Yeah. <laughs> no roll cage at all. Chase, oh, please. Oh. Is, this, is this all day? Every day, bro. Like it's Jake every Paul. day, bro. <laughs> it's that Happens. fan screaming flow. <laughs> anyway, uh, the people over here that are scrolling across Corey's face. Yeah, they are. Those are the people that are keeping this channel alive, keeping it afloat, supporting us in the best way possible by donating money. Corey, are you on that list? I'm not on that list yet. Okay, all right. I wasn't, well, actually, he was on the list because his he was he was on the list, literally. Yeah, the list was on you. So maybe you can switch and be on the list. There we go. Listen, Corey doesn't have to be on the list. He's out here hooking us up in the background in ways that a normal person couldn't. So we thank him for that. Can we talk about what he just um, had or purchased too? In route, not in yet. route, not in route. Okay, yeah, he's not talk in route. about that yet. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna apply some chat. Sounds pretty here. cool. Give my boy a little high five. He's got a job to do. All right. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate it. Out. I'm glad you guys made it out and got to experience this. This is most people on this level don't get to experience it like this. Stand on the other side of the wall. So this is yeah. epic. Yeah. You're on the other side of the fence. Yeah. Unless you're uh, part of the team, you're not really seeing what's going on here. So thank you again, Corey. The entire team created a level of hospitality I've never experienced. Right. I felt like I was at Steve Cameron's house, but I was also a part of the Red Bull KTM team. Very interesting. Yep. Okay. Super legit. No? All right. Thank you. Bye. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Ooh, you Bye. got it. Got it. <laughs> get it. Get it. Yes. Get it, Frank. Bye. All right, guys. So I said I'd get my hat away earlier. Well, this is the kid that I gave the hat to. So. <laughs> get a picture, buddy. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Uh, All right. We'll uh, snap a pic. Again? Tristan. Tristan? Yeah. Tristan. Yeah. All right, so the cops just picked you up, dropped you off at the hotel. Uh, I can't believe that uh, you were found charged with uh, aiding and abetting uh, robbery with J Hop tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Not like bad. I said, look, look into the camera, sir. I can't. Right, right. Right there. Let's see. I just. That Georgie. <laughs> Drinking a mixed globe. Mr. Hunter. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fresh out. Fantastic. It's a good day? Yeah, it's a great day. Walking between here, McNabb and Vinny. How do you think how do you think Juju's gonna do tonight? Hopefully pull his head out of his ass. Oh my god. That was literally wow. a good start. <laughs> that would be a good start. That would be a good is start. Make, is this making the cut? Normally I wouldn't put a camera in someone's face, so thank you, Corey, for doing that. <laughs> is that making the cut? Should we cut that? Ah, uh, that can't be ass? in the cut. Yeah, I mean, oh. that's the best thing to say. So he can pull his head out of his ass and actually ride like he knows how to ride. There we go. Because he knows how to ride. Obviously. <laughs> I mean... He's, he's on the he's on Red Bull. KTM. He's on the right team. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. He's on the right team. So. All right.